Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are building a New York inspired entry and some transitions over to some New York styled townhouses. I want to put out here that if you're not doing a New York inspired island, this build can work for a lot of uh, different city cores. And I like to remind you that every single video that we do can work for other themes as long as you make the appropriate code swap and theme swaps as needed. Before we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. So I meant to post this video actually a few days ago, but it took a lot longer than I expected. I also had a lot going on this week in my personal life, so I apologize for being super late on posting this week, but we should be back to our normal posting schedule, which is obviously still super random, but I do try to post every other day on my channel, so going a few days without posting is kind of weird for me. Anyways, many of you know that I've been trying to do a New York inspired island what feels like forever. I've restarted this along with a lot of my personal islands so many times and I know a lot of you are asking this question right now. Where the heck is the tropical island, the realistic island, the New York island, and I'm sure there's some other islands that I posted on here that maybe I never did a final uh, video release of them. I'm not sure. I usually will do a tour video Video of an island when it's completely done but it, sometimes I don't always do that so uh, my biggest advice for you if you're curious on the status of any of my islands is by following me on my Instagram account I'm always posting updates on there and all of my dream addresses will be found on my highlights and highlights are the clickable circles that I label I also flip-flop my themes quite a bit not to mention I'm always taking in theme requests that y'all leave me in the comment section below so you're gonna see me basically flip-flopping themes constantly on this channel so if you're new here and you've been asking yourself where these themes have been that's kind of like what to expect with me and I like to flip-flop to different themes because I know not everyone is doing the same kind of island style my goal is to try all island aesthetics whether they get a dream address or not in hopes that a tutorial or a video can help inspire somebody on their own personal island and honestly just like y'all i experience animal crossing burnout a lot i mean i go through it with other games too like skyrim uh, minecraft the list goes on so i mean like getting burnt down on something is completely normal and actually i've had a lot of people ask me like how do i keep uh, building and how do I keep inspired on playing Animal Crossing and honestly here is the thing that I do I change my theme constantly why do I do that a lot because sometimes I discover quickly that a theme isn't my style or I just can't enjoy it and I think a lot of people feel like they are obligated to keep their island a certain way because they've been working on it for a long time and if you're one of those people who are struggling with just playing Animal Crossing like you want to play but then you load up the game and you just stare at your island because you're like I don't know what to do on this because I'm not inspired just delete it I mean that is what I do and I know that's really hard to do especially if you're somebody who has collected a lot of DIYs and items which is why I literally encourage y'all to join my discord server which can be found by the way in the video's description because we have a lot of awesome people from our Animal Crossing community in there not to mention we have free treasure islands that are full of DIYs materials items so don't let this stop you from restarting because of feeling burnt out on your own island sometimes having a fresh start is what you need I mean sometimes when I start a new theme I finish my island in like three days I mean y'all who have been following me witness this a lot out of nowhere I will just drop you a dream address that you probably only saw one video on because I was like holy cow I got inspired and I really enjoyed it so obviously not everyone can do an island in three days but that my example is basically sometimes you need a clean slate and honestly if i'm having this much trouble with my new york island and uh my other themes that i've been sharing with you on this channel i might just wipe it and do a clean slate now i am kind of attached to the realistic city that we have been working on the issue is is i need someone to help me with a lot of codes that is why i haven't been sharing this because I suck at making my own codes like I can do certain ones but I'm not as talented as people like Colin Crossing or Tropicage so sometimes I just struggle with capturing a vibe that I really want so that is what's stopping me from posting that if I had all the help with the codes that I needed 
we would definitely be working on that island right now. But realistically, I don't have every code that I need. So with that being said, if you are somebody who is good at doing pixel art, has experience on it, and you're wanting to see more on this island, definitely send me a message on Instagram or Discord and let me know if you're willing to help me with this. I think the one thing that bothers me the most though lately is I really do want to make a New York inspired island. I mean, every time I see photos of New York, it inspires me. I mean, I went to New Orleans actually three days ago and New Orleans layout is very similar to how downtown New York feels very similar uh, store structure and apartment structures and townhouses so we actually went up to new orleans a few days ago to visit the museum and i was driving in the car and i was like oh my gosh this definitely inspires me to make a downtown island maybe i can do something around this that has like new york vibes to it but it doesn't have to be like dedicated exactly to new york i don't know maybe that's what it will help and anyways I wanted to start working on the New York Island because of it and then I got home and I'm just like why don't I feel inspired like it's seriously awful when you have ideas but then you just can't like you know put them out there so I'm gonna continue messing around on this save just to see if something sparks and if it doesn't spark I'm literally just gonna move on and I know a lot of people might be disappointed but like I haven't posted in a few days because I've been struggling on feeling inspired so it's like y'all won't get content if I'm not inspired so uh, I feel like that will be best for my mental health and just for like, you know, in general for my channel. Like I refuse to force myself to build something if I'm not going to enjoy it. So uh, anyways, if I end up liking it, I mean, you might see me finish this in three days and a dream address will be popped out. So y'all just cross your fingers, send me all the good vibes. Maybe I'm just too hard on myself. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people can relate to that. Like we are our worst critics. Sometimes I'll build something and then I'll be like, I liked it. And then... I'll end up changing uh, my mind and be like, nope, I hate this, delete. And that is like the <laughs> like process I have constantly. It is an awful trait. I don't recommend it. So uh, yeah, sometimes though when I'm really inspired, I don't have this issue. And I don't know if I just need to take a break from the, this island and then maybe I'll be inspired. I don't know. But I do want to put this information out there uh, in case, you know, I end up dirty deleting this. So if you're new to my channel and you're probably used to people on speed builds uh, telling you what we're doing step by step on my channel, we kind of just like talk about things and it's super chill and laid back. I mean, my streams are very similar to how my video style is. And I just like to be honest and very open with my followers. I mean, I want you to know that you're not alone when you're feeling the things that I'm feeling. I mean, we all go through it. I refuse to put on like this fake image on social media. I want to express what I'm feeling. And honestly, yeah, I've been really burnt out. So that's why I'm like, if I just delete all of the islands that have been stressing me out, hopefully what we've done on them will inspire somebody to finally be like, yes, this is what I needed to get my island going. That's what I always hope for. Like if I can't commit to a certain theme, I literally hope that whatever we're doing on every video that I do, regardless if it gets a dream address or not, helps you get in that mood to start playing again helps inspire you like what if one of the themes that i did i didn't finish it and you're just like oh my gosh this is exactly what i want to do right now and then you're able to make an island off of what i gave you that is always my hope i love seeing recreations and all that fun stuff so hopefully today's video inspires somebody who might be doing a downtown vibe you may be doing maybe a city core that uses a lot of brick tones just like you know downtown new york does so let me know if this video helped you out. I wanted it to include transitions because I know a lot of you ask me how to transition from different spots. Even though I never plan my builds layouts, like if you're new to my channel, these are completely pulled out of thin air. I just wing all of my stuff. So uh, obviously being like, this is how we transition to this spot is very unrealistic since I never plan anything. But I'm hoping that like these layouts can help inspire you. Now, let's say you're in a position like after this video, you're like, great, I have this video, but I don't know how to transition from it. I recommend checking out my other entry in other videos because even if it's not the same theme, you can still layouts from other islands and other um, videos that we've done and kind of like piece it together with this build today. So like 
you could go to an entry video and I might have done like, you know, maybe like my tropical cul-de-sac that we did actually on the channel. You could easily add that as a transition from what we're working on right now and that could go to your villagers or maybe a different spot. So keep in mind that even if it's a different theme, you can totally steal these layouts to add on to the builds that we do in case I don't finish it and this is just maybe a random tutorial that we do. So on today's tutorial, this is pretty much what we did. And if you need to re-watch this video, feel free to skim through, share this with your friends who like Animal Crossing. I am now just gonna make a little chessboard sitting area. And I'm trying to make my entry basically into a park. And I thought doing a park-like entry would be very different from what we've normally done on our City Court tutorials. It's a little bit different. Add some more natural elements to your island. And again, if you're not doing a New York island, this would work for other city themes too. But I thought it was a really fun, different trial. And I think I really enjoyed it for that reason. It's a little bit different from what we normally do on here. So I hope it helps you out and you get a lot of inspiration for your island. With that being said, once I finish decorating these small places left we're going to go ahead and transition to a walkthrough of the final video tutorial i also want to add that the townhouses if you don't like how the castle towers look you can totally do the older video method i'll have that other video linked in the video's description if you want to go check that out but i mostly like this design better because it feels a lot more cleaner the edges aren't as harsh so that is why I decided to do castle towers for the rooftops. It just feels a lot more realistic to me. And anyways, up here is where I would do a villager cul-de-sac. So if you are somebody who wants to incorporate your villagers somehow, I obviously know that this is not very New York style like whatsoever, but it's a great way of incorporating your villagers into your city cores. So I would do a cul-de-sac up there, uh, especially if you're doing a townsy vibe, but you want to incorporate your villagers somehow. This is a great way of doing it. Uh, next, this is how the townhouses ended up looking and I just really liked how this had a neighborhood vibe. I wanted a lot of cars parked in the front since obviously that is a huge downtown vibe uh, to New York and just to like where New Orleans is as well. Like in New Orleans, nobody has parking lots. Like if there is a parking lot, it's expensive to pay for and a lot of people just choose to park their cars on the side of the road. So I wanted to capture that onto this build today. And again, New York does that too. Uh, and I wanted to incorporate a lot of bikes as well since a lot of people prefer to travel on foot for that reason. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration if you're doing a downtown or New York vibe. And that's it for today's video. I hope it brings you a lot of inspiration. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Have a horrible day.